In a previous video, hardware interrupts in Arduino were demonstrated, namely external and pin change interrupts. In this video, software interrupts will be presented using built-in timers in the Arduino microcontroller in order to measure time events. A timer is basically a counter inside the Arduino microcontroller which is used to measure time events. The timers or counters inside the Arduino Uno controller namely the Atmega 328P are timer 0, timer 1, timer 2 and watchdog timer. Some of the built-in functions within the Arduino programming IDE use these timers such as Millis, delay, and analog write functions. Timers 0, 1, and 2 can be used to generate software interrupts, which will be the focus of this video. The watchdog timer is used to reset the microcontroller when the code goes into infinite loop. Timer 0 has a size of 8 bits and it generates these two interrupts, compare match and overflow interrupts, which will be discussed later on. And there are built-in functions that use timer zero, such as the delay, millis, micros, and the analog write function for pins five and six. Timer one has a size of 16 bits, and it can generate compare match interrupt, overflow interrupt, and input capture interrupt. Input Capture Interrupt is a feature that enables Timer1 to capture some time value from an input pin in order to measure the frequency of an input signal. And the functions that uh, are available related to Timer1 are the servo functions and the analog write for pins 9 and 10. Timer2 is similar to Timer0 and the functions that use timer 2 are the tone, no tone functions and the analog write for pins 3 and 11. A table of the programmable timer registers within the microcontroller is shown here. This register here is the timer counter control register that stores the prescalar value. Prescalar is a parameter that lowers the frequency of the input system clock and the microcontroller supports uh, four prescalar values 1, 8, 64, 256 and 1024. We also have the timer counter register that stores the time value, output compare register, input capture register which is only found uh, in timer 1, timer counter interrupt mask register which is used to enable or disable the timer interrupts and the timer counter interrupt flag register. Each timer has two channels A and B. So for example here this timer counter control register there would be TCCR 1A and TTCR 1B. In this video the focus will be on timer 1 registers. This timer 1 register TCCR1B is used to store the prescalar value by programming these clock select bits. So based on this truth table, we either have no timer or the prescalar value is 1, 8, 64, 256 or 1024. This bit here is the wave generation mode bit is responsible for clear timer on compare. So this bit must be set to 1 whenever we use compare match interrupt. The other bits here are not used in this video so they are assumed logic don't care. This register timer interrupt mask register for timer 1 is used to enable or disable the timer 1 interrupts. So this bit here is used to enable the overflow interrupt and this one is used to enable the compare match interrupt. 
Again, these other bits are not used in this video and are assumed zero. As an example, let's say we want to toggle an LED at a frequency of 4 Hz using the compare match interrupt technique. We start with our clock frequency which is set at 16 MHz and our prescaler is chosen at 256 and our target frequency is 4 Hz. So we take the clock frequency divided by the prescaler and then divided by the target frequency gives us this integer value. We then store this integer value in a time one register called OCR1A which is the output compare register for timer 1. When the program is executed, timer 1 begins to upcount from 0 until it reaches this value 15625 which is equal to the value in the OCR1A register. Then we will have a compare match interrupt and based on this interrupt, this interrupt service routine will be called which will have the code needed to blink the LED. Let's have a look at this C++ code. This integer value which was calculated here is stored in the output uh, compare register for timer 1 and here we are storing this 8-bit uh, value inside the timer counter uh, control register uh, which uh, defines the prescaler value and here we are storing this uh, byte inside the timer interrupt mask 1 register which enables the compare match interrupt and once an interrupt occurs this interrupt service routine is called and the code within is executed now all of this must be inside the setup function within the Arduino code. The setup used to demonstrate uh, the timer interrupt is shown here. We have one red LED connected to digital pin 8, blue LED connected to D2, and we have this OLED display connected to the Arduino using I2C. When we run the program, the code within the setup function will toggle this red LED at a frequency of 4 Hz using the compare match interrupt technique. While the code inside the loop function will blink this LED every 1 second and also display a count from 0 to 99 on this OLED display. Keep in mind that, that the two codes are running concurrently. This is the C++ code used in this demonstration. Let's have a look at the setup function. So here inside the setup function we need to program timer1 for compare match interrupt. First we need to disable the system interrupts. Then we need to initialize timer1 to 0. And then we need to store the calculated integer value inside the output compare register for timer1. And then we need to store the prescaler value which is 256 and then we need to enable the compare match interrupt and then we need to enable the system interrupts now when an interrupt occurs the program will jump into the interrupt service routine and execute this instruction that will toggle the LED and now let's compile the program and see the result For more information on Arduino timers, I recommend reading the datasheet of the Etmega 328 microcontroller. Thank you for watching.